Hello, my name is Devin Glass. I'm part of Herco's application department. Purdue reached out to our engineering team to see if we could help them with their wheel hub on their Baja racing car. So let me show you how we went about making it. We turn it into an entire application project where we turn this into a full-on five-axis simultaneous part from one to two ops. I wanted to learn more about their manufacturing processes, what their challenges are, and I've tried to do that by reaching out to Purdue and, and talking to the team and getting this process started and continuing. So for the VMX30U on our Herco side, what really made it above most of the machines we have right now for this application was its high-speed spindle and its five axis. We have some very, very tight areas that has some surfacing in it, and that requires us to have very small tools that need to spin very, very fast. So with this particular 30U, we have a high-speed spindle that can go up to 20,000 RPM that can get us those speeds and feeds. With my background in Mastercam, I went to Mastercam to program this from start to finish. That was programmed using both OP1 and OP2 with a little bit of conversationals snuck in there for the mid-OPs when we're touching off the part. The NC code, each OP is about 500,000 plus lines of code and this machine chews it up like cereal. The main challenge was making sure that we didn't have any collisions, but once we were able to see them in the simulation, we were able to track down exactly what line number the problem happened in and then correct for that issue. OP1 takes about an hour and a half and OP2 takes about two and a half hours. Now, one thing I will note is we could speed up the program considerably, but we chose to process both the vertical faces and the tapered faces together so they have a nice consistent finish. However, if time was our issue, we could process those separately. We would get a much, much faster cycle time since we're not surfacing those vertical walls. My normal day-to-day -day is I'm working with customers, helping them with their issues. So it's usually, oh, help me with this one little portion of the program. So it's very nice to go through the process of actually going through and making sure that everything is proven out. That's been a great experience through this project. There's a lot of individuals and a lot of companies that care very deeply about passing on their knowledge and being able to provide to that next generation and next line of you know people entering the workforce and engineers especially. 